Now, one of the things you will notice today, especially when we're doing our pole course lapping, there'll be some uh, folks dressed in all in white. And these are what we call our track marshals. They are there to keep things safe and they have a method of communicating with us. And I'm gonna ask Frank to come on up, uh, the uh, chief marshal for the day. And he's just gonna give us a little bit of a review of how they communicate to the drivers but most importantly, what they expect to see from our car, both from the instructor and the driver, when one of these indications are given. So, Frank, it's all yours. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you all here today. I'm going to go briefly through uh, the flags and that. I'm not going to give you the whole rundown for race weekend or whatever. You're here for a lapping day, not race week. All right. Um, just your basics. Uh, this is a, a white flag. You might have a car or so in trouble or whatever. You'll see it wave. It's a slow moving vehicle. That's all it's telling you. So when you're coming up to someone or so, just make sure you're ready to go around them or whatever. Uh, hopefully if they haven't stopped or whatever to talk to me or whatever, but that might happen too. So you see that in a waving position. Now then, one that you'll see the most around is usually a yellow flag. It's produced in two ways. Once it's a standing position, which is telling you there's a vehicle off the track uh, not in a, a very good position or whatever and that so all we want you to do is be heads up just ease up on the throttle don't slam on the brakes just carry on and that now if it's in a wave position this vehicle is on track okay it could be on your line a place you uh, might have to go to so be prepared to deviate your line that you have to go around again under no circumstances when you see a yellow flag either in a steady position or in a waving position is their passing. That will produce what we call later a black flag. Okay, so uh, that's for the yellow. Now then, ah, look what I got, the black flag. Now, this will be waved at stations, like there's only three of us out here. One person's at pit out, I'll be on top of the hill and then we'll have another one in a, what we call a black flag in position. But if you see all of us waving it, we need all cars off the track. Now this will be important later on in the day because we have a, a thunderstorm warnings. So for me to protect my guys, if we wave this, I want everybody off the track as soon as possible. Just take it nice and easy so we can go into our vehicles to be safe from being hit by lightning. I tend to frown upon that for some reason. Uh, if you see it in a steady position or so, and then it pointed at your vehicle, we need you to come off track. Could be driving habits, could be something wrong with the car or whatever. Just come on in, don't do a lap, come in right away, see a, a person in pit out uh, or one of the instructors and we'll uh, uh, identify exactly what the problem is. Could be you went two wheels off, four wheels off, but uh, please do not ignore this. We'll be down in the far station and we'll only have the one person do it. And uh, we track the cars all the way around, okay? Now then, we won't use a green today, but we will use this. This is a debris flag, also known as a surface flag. This is never waved, it's always in a steady position. Now then, if you see this, that means it's raining. And, uh, and it could be raining one end of the track or another. So it could be dry in your area that you are now, but later on, it could be very wet. So we want you to be uh, aware of it. If it's like this and pointed at your vehicle, it means you might be having an issue with your vehicle. Just be ready to pull off or so, especially if it's oil and that's something that we might have to clean up. And that. Um, also, if it's pointed at you and that, if, you, if you're close enough, try to pit and that, but uh, don't stay online because nothing worse than cleaning up a lot of track or ruining somebody else's day. Okay, now then, this one here I don't very much, but it's very important that uh, if we do use this, that you know exactly what it means. A waving red flag, and everybody knows it's an emergency. We need you to pull off to the nearest man station. The man station, I mean, like you see me out there or someone else in the white, park close enough to them, but everybody parked on one side of the track. So we can get an emergency vehicle down there or whatever. But it's an emergency, we need everybody to pull off and out. Please do not try to make it back into the pits and that. Just go out there, time is of the essence. We need something to be taken care of immediately. 
could be for you, could be for your friends or whatever. We want to make sure everybody's safe here. Now let me go through. I think that's everything for everybody today. We don't need a blue flag or that. So on that note, uh, we're here to make everybody safe, but we're here to <coughs> let everybody have a great time. So enjoy yourselves today and uh, have a fantastic time in the new Nissan. You'll enjoy it. Thank you very much.